Researchers at UNH Durham are digging deep to track COVID-19 on campus. So whenever uh, somebody is infected or sick with the virus, it, um, it moves into their uh, GI tract. And, um, and as a result, they shed that virus um, when they go to the bathroom into the sewage. Since August, they've collected more than 2,700 samples from 10 dormitories. So we focus on two target genes within the virus's genome, known as the nucleocapsid protein. Researchers are targeting proteins or biomarkers that are typically present when the virus is in the first or second phase of infection. The data allows them to not only track current infections, but establish a baseline for the length of time it takes the body to shed the virus. There's been um, some, some work by folks in the, in, the, in the medical field that suggests that people that have been infected still shed this virus, sometimes for weeks after they test negative for it. The technology researchers are using allows them to detect low levels of the COVID-19 biomarkers inside a wastewater sample that can be heavily diluted. You have, you know, soaps that come from dishes, you have laundry, you have, um, um, other cleaning chemicals that you might use in your house. There's all kinds of food that goes down there. Mouser's pilot program could soon help other communities across the state apply the approach to their own wastewater samples. Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.